I may seem to be an anomaly when it comes to movement atheism in the uh, English-speaking world. I am an atheist, but I'm against scientism. Scientism is the idea that science can answer everything. This is just patently false. Mm -hmm. And the reason why this ho really ignorant idea has gone so far is because uh, people in America tend to suck at philosophy. And when you suck at philosophy, your critical thinking skills aren't very good. You can't think deeply about things that much. And when they, d people who believe in scientism do think deeply to the point to where they're actually doing philosophy, instead of calling it philosophy, which it is, they call it science. So, for instance, theoretical physics is the metaphysics of the day. Theoretical physics mixes the philosophy of metaphysics with the science of astronomy and physics, and they mash it together. In other words, if anything is theoretical, but still important to the study, like theoretical physics, you're doing philosophy. It's just that they have science behind it because it's, it's in a, a gray zone between science and philosophy. They have science cannot handle everything. For instance, you cannot run a society purely on science. Because to run a society requires unempirical things, unscientific things, such as value judgments, which are unempirical. In you, for instance, the government itself is unempirical. What I mean by that is the government is a social construct. You can't empirically test for social constructs. You can, like, notice the physical stuff that the believers in the social contract have. For instance, government exists because we believe it does. So you can find, like, cop cars and government officials, but government itself is not something that you can empirically test for because it, ex it exists in our minds. And pure mathematics and pure logic are unempirical. There are what's in philosophy called purely rational. What I mean by purely rational is, is that you can't, it doesn't exist in the real world, but it's still important and it only exists in our heads. So like mathematics by itself is not empirical. But if you have like two sticks and two sticks, now you have four sticks, that's empirical. You get what I mean? So math by itself is not empirical. It becomes empirical only when you connect it to the real world or you connect it at least theoretically to real objects. And pure logic on its own is also not empirical because it's purely abstract. So it's not scientific, although it's still the ideas of logic and truth and reason still apply to these purely rational, unempirical things. Another thing was with ethics. You cannot have purely scientific ethics. You cannot just replace ethics with science, is what I'm getting at. Because ethics requires things which are not empirical, which cannot be scientifically tested. You can test whether or not someone actually believes the things, but the things themselves are not scientific. So every ethical theory has value judgments or purely rational constructions and it may even have social construction in it too. All of these things are not scientific. So the common argument for when it comes to scientism for ethics is well we can replace, science can do ethics because science can tell you how to make everyone better off. Two problems. One, that you starting off with a, un with a philosophic statement that the purpose of society is to make everyone better off which is not scientific. That's a value judgment that is not scientific. And another thing is you don't realize the implications that you may have trouble with. Because the thing is with that statement is you have, what do you deal with situations in which the way scientifically to make people better would be to take away other people's rights. For instance, it would make, it would increase the overall happiness and well-being of the country if we just like disappear the entire Westboro Baptist Church. If they're all just taken off to a camp somewhere and silenced, scientifically speaking, that would make people a lot happier. The overall country-wide happiness would be good. So not only is a it's not only is it a cover for a philosophic position called utilitarianism, which people are so philosophically ignorant that they probably don't even know what utilitarian is is while they're proposing it through their uh, replacing ethics with science idea. And secondly, they don't realize the implications of what they're saying. Pure utilitarianism will lead to these weird things. And you either hard-nose it and say, yes, 
I do believe in it still, and we should disappear the West Bar Baptist Church because I like everyone better. Or you have to change your idea to something less radically utilitarian because replacing ethics with science does lead to a philosophical position of radical utilitarianism. So you don't escape philosophy like you pretend to do, and you lead to these extreme cases that you're, you're not even realizing exist. So yes, scientism is dumb. <laughs> it is bad. Science, I'm not, being against scientism is not the same as being against science. When it comes to scientific empirical questions, which by the way, empiricism and science were invented by philosophers. By the way, the entire framework and starting point was from like Hume and stuff like that. So yeah, being against scientism is not against, so when it comes to scientific issues, when it comes to an empirical question, science is the best to handle it. Do you want to know how far away a star is? Science will tell you that. If you want to know if the universe is expanding, why it is that some stars are blue and some are red, or, or celestial objects or whatever, some are redder, or, that's science. But questions like, should we start colonizing other planets? That's a philosophical question. Should the shoulds, or any should question, generally is a philosophical question. And if you a analyze anything enough, you're going to get in the philosophy territory eventually. Which is why I think that we, th we should either respect philosophy and have science do its thing and have philosophy do its thing and respect both and try to develop both. Or we need to just rebrand philosophy as a type of science. And if you do that, then scientism makes sense. If you... If you rebrand philosophy in the purely rational and the unempirical as a form of like radical theoretical science then scientism would actually then cover everything just about like there's still a little pocket that I don't think it'd cover like poetic stuff like English departments like it still might have trouble dealing with that but I think if you did that then scientism makes sense but until philosophy counts as a science scientism is just ignorant and I wish more atheists would realize the fallacy, the faulty reasoning in scientism.